We discussed in part one that freezing and cooling foods is the removal of heat by placing food in a cold temperature environment for a period of time. If the time and temperature are appropriate, the food will be cooled or frozen as desired. If you missed part one, we encourage you to go back and watch that episode before continuing. Well, why would you use liquid nitrogen in order to create the cold environment in a cooler or freezer? While there are many combinations of time and temperature that will freeze or chill foods, only by using liquid nitrogen are you able to realize several specific benefits stemming directly from the very cold temperature. I like to categorize the benefits for using liquid nitrogen in food processing into two buckets, quality and operations. In this part, we'll outline the quality benefits. In part three, we'll review the operations benefits. The quality bucket can be thought of as characteristics that are important to the consumer, the person eating or consuming the food. This is you at the grocery store. Within quality, the benefits to using liquid nitrogen are moisture retention, texture retention, and retained flavors. We will discuss each of these in turn. Moisture retention is an important quality aspect for all food items. You want your cake to be moist, your chicken to be juicy, and your vegetables to be Loss of moisture robs your food of their quality properties. Dehydration of food occurs because cold air is very dry. This is exactly why you get chapped lips in the winter. The air is really dry and the moisture in your lips evaporates more quickly than in the humid summer air. This is the same process that happens when freezing food. The cold and dry air in the freezer causes the food to dehydrate. So, recall our friends time and temperature. A liquid nitrogen freezer might operate at 160 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So we freeze the food very quickly, in just a few minutes. This functions to seal in the moisture and helps prevent dehydration. The water or moisture in our slice of chocolate cake is frozen in place and has no chance to escape and dehydrate the cake. The next quality benefit is texture retention. Think about the ripe, firm texture of strawberries. If we freeze strawberries, we do so in order to preserve their quality. But when the water freezes, it forms crystals. This is similar to that experiment you did as a kid. You made a high sugar syrup and left the stick in the syrup for a long period of time. Slowly, large sugar crystals formed on the stick. When you freeze slowly, water forms crystals too. These crystals, compared to the sugar crystals, are pretty small. However, compared to the cell structure of the food, these ice crystals are very large. Can you see where this is going? Did you hear our friend's time and temperature come into play? By freezing food very quickly using liquid nitrogen, these crystals stay smaller than the cell structure of the food. By remaining smaller than the cells, the crystals do not cut through the cells as they form, leaving the structure of the food intact. The first photo is of fresh strawberries. The second photo shows strawberries frozen in a zero degree Fahrenheit freezer, very slowly, then thawed. The volume of juice shows the internal damage that occurred because of the slow freeze. The final photo shows strawberries frozen with liquid nitrogen and thawed. The little bit of juice indicates the protection that freezing quickly with liquid nitrogen can provide. The next aspect is retained flavors or fragrances. Freezing or cooling quickly secures the fragrances and flavors in place in the food. Most fragrances are volatile organic compounds or VOCs. They are referred to as volatile because at elevated temperatures they float or waft away quickly. And in foods they are finite, meaning once they are gone, they are gone. This is like your trash in the summer. It smells much worse than in winter. Why? Because the elevated temperatures in the summer promote the evaporation of the fragrance. While this is a bit of an eye chart, the graph is meant to show the activity of the VOCs as temperature increases. As we move down the page, more and more compounds are evaporating from the product as the temperature of the experiment increases down the page. Simply, elevated temperatures cause the fragrances of the food to leave, never to return. So again, the extreme cold of liquid nitrogen, temperature, can freeze or cool very quickly, time, so the delicate fragrances and flavors of a Thai dish, a sorbet, or fresh fruits, for example, are secured in place so that more are left for the consumer to enjoy. Now we know that the extremely cold temperature of liquid nitrogen freezes foods in a very short period of time for better quality by retaining moisture, texture, and flavor. There are several operational benefits to the use of liquid nitrogen in freezing and cooling, but you will want to watch part three in order to learn about those benefits. Thank you.